Hey, what's up, everybody? I know we've been talking about oversold stocks. I just filmed a prior one, but now we're going to be looking at some stocks that are actually getting overbought. And that means that there's a lot of buy signals that are rushing into certain types of sectors. So look, if your portfolio is only feeling pain, you might be only in technology stocks, but there's other groups that are actually seeing a lot of fresh buy signals. I'm going to be showing you that today and where I see some potential opportunity. Hey, I'm Luke Downey. I'm co-founder of MapSignals.com. We don't follow the news. We follow the big money. And that means we want to know where the buys and where the sales are going in stocks because that can often lead you to opportunity. We're going to be showing you some unique data. So if you really like this, please make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment, you know, send us some love. We literally are doing this for free. We just want to educate you guys and make sure that you become a better investor. So do that right now. And let's go ahead and get into this. Look, there's a lot of stocks that are getting sold, but there's also a bunch that are actually going up. And you can't really keep track of what's going on in the market if you're paying attention to the headlines. But if you pay attention to data, you start to see a very clear picture. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are, we're in the portal. Let's look at some cool data. If you guys are new to the map signals process, let's just get a couple of things out of the way. Look, all we do is we follow the big money. What's getting bought, what's getting sold. We created this really cool index called the big money index, which basically tells us the flow of buys and sells in the marketplace. And look, it's very simple. If buying is picking up, that means that the market likely is going higher. Whenever the index starts to fall, that means that selling is picking up. Oftentimes you see the market start to pull back. Now it has been relatively choppy as of late. We're starting to see the big money index start to pull a little bit, but let's go ahead and look a little bit further and see what that might be. I like to zoom in to look at the daily buys and sell counts, right? So if we're looking for overbought stocks, what's getting bought, it's going to be in some of these blue signals. So these are the daily counts of stocks getting bought. Now in my other videos, I focused on the sells, but what's really interesting is whenever you see a lot of buying, there tends to be more buying. We do get to some of these extreme levels that you want to pay attention to. Oftentimes when there's too much buying, the market tends to reverse a little bit. But what do we notice over here? We notice that even though there's some selling, there's also some buying. So wait a minute, Luke, if, if my portfolio just keeps going lower and lower, what does that mean? Well, it just means you might not be in some of the stocks that are actually getting bought. So let's go ahead and look at some of the sectors, two sectors that are seeing a lot of buy activity. And the first one is gonna be energy, right? We've got, uh, what, we've got inflation raging, you've got energy prices, let me move my head out of the way. But ultimately, this chart is very simple. It shows you what's happening at the sector level. And this is the energy sector. So when there's big buying like this, boop, we start to be near the peaks of the market, right? You see big buying here. Doesn't mean you're at the peak, but oftentimes we're not going that much higher. We might roll over. So we had a bunch of selling that was here, but now you're starting to see a pickup in buying in energy stocks. So again, when we were looking at some of those big money, those buy signals, what was getting bought? Energy is one of those. What else is getting bought? financials. Let's do the same process. And what do you notice? When there's a big amount of buying. It gets exciting. There's a lot of juice that's happening. What do we see right now? There's a lot of buying going on in financials. And think about it, right? If interest rates are going up, who is best to benefit? Might be banks, might be insurance companies. They are levered to higher rates. And so a lot of the companies we're going to be showcasing today, the ones that are getting bought, they're going to be financials and energy stocks. So super cool. So look, now we know that there is a push and a pull going on under the surface of the market. Now we're going to be focusing on five stocks that are seeing relentless buying. We've got some super cool charts that you've never seen anywhere else. But more importantly, we're going to look at the fundamental qualities under these stocks, because when you see big money buying rushing into a stock with solid fundamentals, well, that puts it in a class of its own and it gets the hammer. Let's go ahead and look at some opportunities right now. 
So here we are, we find ourselves back in the portal. And the first stock that we're gonna be looking at as seeing relentless buying is none other than PXD, and that is Pioneer Natural Resources Company, right? So a lot of energy names and resource companies are doing really well in this high inflationary environment, right? Commodity prices are really high. But look at this chart. Now, very simply, green signals means the stock is getting bought based on our algos. The red signals mean the stock is getting sold and why this stock is one of the most overbought right now, or excuse me, getting bought right now is because look at all of the green buy signals. And if we just zoom in, I want to go in via November. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, this is what you call the stairway to heaven. So clearly as oil prices are going higher, as a lot of commodity prices are going higher, PXD Pioneer is going to benefit. Now, as we go under the hood, you can see that the stock actually is high quality. How do we know that? Well, we know that because we created these blue signals, which says, hey, show me the weeks when a stock is going up, it's getting bought, and it has great fundamentals. We can see that the stock has shown up three times recently. If we go a little bit further down, we can see that the fundamental score is a 54%. Let's go ahead and look at that a little bit more. So here we are under the hood and let's just look at a few things that are important to me. One is the share price, about a $207 stock. It's a $50 billion market cap. The stock is getting bought so much that it's up 15.9% over one month. Wow seven buy signals since November. That's a lot. And how many times did it make that blue signal, right? Those top 20s, just six, which is not a lot, but it is something to pay attention to. But you could see that the one year earnings growth, the EBITDA growth is over 40%. And then the one year revenue growth is down 27%. It even has a dividend yield of 1.2%, which is nice. You get a nice little kiss right there. And then the forward PE, is 16 times. So the question is, is this a great stock? And on paper, other than the revenue growth, it's actually scoring relatively well. I'm not going to smash the hammer on this one only because I need to see that revenue growth start to increase, show the green. But otherwise, this is a very solid stock getting bought right now. So let's get to our number two stock that is getting overbought and it is Taiwan Semiconductor. So look, if you like semiconductors, listen, Taiwan Semi is one of the largest out there. And look, you can see that this chart on a one-year basis is seeing a lot of buys, a lot of sells. It's been choppy, right? It's just been this rotational market. But recently, you can see that juice has been going into the shares. Zoom in for November. What do we see? Green signals here. More buying, more buying. Generally, buying leads to more buying. Same thing happens on the sell side. Let's look under the hood. You can see that there are no blue signals on this name. And in fact, you'd have to go way back before you see anything. But let's keep looking. Fundamental score is 67%. I'm not too excited, but let's keep looking under the hood. So at first glance, I wasn't that excited about Taiwan Semiconductor, but now as I look under the hood, I'm actually really liking this stock. And let me tell you what I'm really zoning and excuse me, cluing into. First of all, the stock is up 20% in one month, right? Find a technology stock that's done that. I mean, very few, right? Market cap is just over 720 billion. It's a big stock, but top 20 signals since uh, 2014, only a couple, but look at what's more important to me right now is the one year EBITDA growth is 20%. The one year revenue growth is 25%. The dividend yield is 1.1%. The forward PE is 26 times. Oh my, this is one that I think is worthy of attention. Yeah, it's getting bought, but you look under the hood, there's a reason it's getting bought high quality. Let's go to the next one. Now, this one has a tremendous amount of buying going into it, and it is none other than Ford Motor Company. And look, full disclosure, I own Ford. I've owned this one for a long time in personal accounts. But look at 
all of the buying that has been going into this stock. And look, clearly their transition from going from like, you know, gasoline vehicles into the EV space, electric vehicles, Wall Street has been getting excited about them. And look, their chart is starting to look a lot like Tesla, you know, a couple months back. But as we go back and we say, oh man, is this a really high quality stock? The way our process works is we're looking at historically, was this a big money favorite? Was it a high quality name? It hasn't because they've been going through this transition. But if we go all the way back to, wow, the 1990s, this was a huge stock. It was an amazing stock. So let's just look under the hood, the fundamental score is 33%. That is not good at the onset. Let's go ahead, peel back the onion a little bit and see if we can get anything to get excited about. So here we are. What's super cool about Ford is the market cap just breached $100 billion. I talked about this company in another video that we did, but look, the share price is at 25 bucks. It's basically at something like a 20 year high. And look, we can see big money buy signals, right? Since November, 12 of these. It's amazing, right? A lot of money is going into Ford. You can see that it has not been a top scoring name for us recently because a lot of the growth names were kind of the top stocks. Ford has not been there. But if we look at the one year EBITDA growth, it's a 9%, 9.3%. The one year revenue growth is down 18%. I think that is definitely going to change because they have already reinstated their dividend back. It was cut during the pandemic, which a lot of stocks were. But you look at the forward PE of 13, this stock actually looks relatively cheap to me. Looking at this holistically, I think this stock has somewhere to be. I think it's going higher. And for that, I got to give it the old hammer swipe. We got to keep going though. So now we got to look at another energy company that has been on my radar and it is none other than Diamondback Energy. Now look, just about any energy stock has been just beaming the last year. And you can see that Fang is one of these awesome stocks. I remember years ago when there was this big energy boom, this was one of the leaders then. It is a leader now and you can see steady inflows of money. Yep, there is a big pullback here. But what do you see recently? A lot of that juice. Let's go ahead and zoom in. November, right? Look at this. A lot of green. Then we went into Chop City. Now it's getting back there. We look now, it's also been a high scoring name recently with these blue signals. If you guys don't believe me that this was an awesome name back in the day, look at this. Dun, da, da, da lots and lots of high quality buying. Obviously, when you head into a <laughs> pandemic and all these other things, it was not a pretty picture. But we can see here that the fundamental score is 54%. The technical score is 91%. Let's keep looking under the hood. I mean, people are worrying about the FANG stocks, you know, the Facebooks, the Amazon, Netflix, and Google. What about the other FANG? And I'm talking about Diamondback Energy. Look, the share price, 124 bucks. The market cap, just over 22 billion. One month, the stock is up 16%. It's had five of those green buy signals since November. Very positive here. Top 20s since 2014, 11. EBITDA growth, 29%. One year revenue growth is down 29%. I think that that's gonna be a lot better going forward with energy prices literally trading at highs. The dividend yield, look at this, 1.6%. The forward PE is 11. Remember, the market is forward looking. It's not necessarily looking where we've been. They wanna know where are we going and fang, take a bite. It is gonna get the hammer. Let's go ahead and look at another stock that is getting a lot of buying. Listen, they say to save the best for last. I think we've got a really good one here. And we're gonna go into the financial space. Last but not least, we're gonna be looking at Charles Schwab Corporation. And if you like green, this one is getting a lot of buying. And man, look at this. This is a one year chart, lots of green going in here. Up, oh, one sell signal, a lot more green. We go in, I wanna look at November because that's really when the market started to change its tune. And you can see the stairway to heaven. That's the way you get there. 
but look at all these blue signals, high quality stocks. Wow, look at this. Stairway to heaven right there. A stock that gets a lot of blue is a stock you wanna pay attention to. Technical score is 91, fundamental score is 67, very strong. Look, it is a financial name and it is cranking. It is Charles Schwab. 17.6% is how much the stock has gained over the past month. Uh, the share price is $93. That is just cranking. You can see the market cap is about $170 billion. But more importantly, it's getting bought. It's had seven buy signals since November. How many top 20 since 2014? 17. You need 20. To be an outlier, this stock might be a next outlier. EBITDA growth over one year is 14%. Love it. One year revenue growth, 2.7%. I think that's probably going to do a lot better in the years to come, right? Because we've got higher interest rates. Dividend yield, 0.8%. Forward PE, 28 times. Green across the board, plus big money buying. <laughs> Gonna hammer that one home. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So let's go ahead and wrap up and look at all of these stocks. We got Pioneer Natural, we've got Taiwan Semiconductor, we got Ford Motor Company, Diamondback Energy, Charles Schwab. The biggest takeaway is that they're all getting bought right now. And you can see that there is a value tilt to all of them. Their PE is relatively modest. That's where the buying is going. This is where the opportunity is. This is where the juice is at. Guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video because it's one thing to be looking at what's getting sold. It's another thing to be looking at which stocks are getting bought. Okay, there's a big rotation that's going on in the market. And if you know where to look and if you know what's getting bought, oftentimes you can find some opportunity. You guys stay bullish. Make sure to hang in there long term. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave me a comment. I'll see you guys next time.